Imagine not being able to read directions, or a contract, or help your daughter with her homework. In mid-19th century, denied access to education, many persons who were poor, especially women, lived that reality. The Sisters of Mercy wanted to change that. Catherine McCauley believed that no work of charity can be more productive of good to society or more conducive to the happiness of the poor than the careful instruction of women. Not all sisters agreed who they should teach. Mother Baptist Russell in San Francisco believed only the poor should be served by Mercy Schools. Mother Ward had a different understanding. For her, all were included, and she believed teaching children of the middle class was essential to link together persons with resources to those without them. Coming to Pittsburgh in 1843, Frances Ward and her sisters immediately translated that belief into bricks and mortar. First came St. Mary's Academy in Pittsburgh in 1844, followed in less than a year by St. Vincent's Academy. Over the next 20 years, more would follow. St. Xavier's in Chicago, Illinois, Mount St. Mary Academy in Little Rock, Arkansas, St. Joseph's Academy in Sacramento, California, and St. Vincent's Academy in Savannah, Georgia, were just a few of the many centers of education established by the sisters. Organizing schools was no small task. At times, attendance doubled within weeks. Fires destroyed buildings or floodwaters swept through the properties. The sisters, sometimes when hungry, had scarce resources and often shared the poverty of those they served, yet served they did. Frances Ward sent sisters to bring education to the Native Americans of Maine, while Mary Austin Carroll provided for the needs of African American children in the Irish Channel of Louisiana by leaning the school on the convent walls to avoid being set on fire by Irish Catholics opposed to their education. Adults were not left out. Since many lacked basic education and faith, Sunday schools were started. Women, lacking a means of support, were taught job skills. Like Catherine McCauley before them, the Sisters of Mercy throughout the United States focused on excellence in education, providing their students with formation for leadership, societal influence, and depth of character. Recognizing that women often lacked access to advanced education, the sisters expanded their schools to include Mercy Colleges and Universities. St. Xavier's in Chicago, founded in 1846, was the first Mercy University. Over the next 175 years, Mercy education responded to the changing needs of God's people. Wherever Mercy sisters taught, the values were the same. Mercy education was rooted in gospel values, person-centered, committed to justice, respectful of the dignity of each person, infused with mercy and compassion, marked by hospitality and inclusion. Today, this educational heritage continues in universities, secondary and elementary schools, as well as other educational initiatives like Mercy Education Project in Detroit that reaches out to help adults finish their schooling or acquire the skills needed to find employment, while Mercy Beyond Borders labors to bring education to the girls of South Sudan and Haiti. Catherine McCauley's vision of education goes on in classrooms, through service immersion programs, in discussion groups, online classes, laboratories, and tutoring centers, all with one aim in mind, that each person might reach his or her full potential as one made in the image and likeness of God.